In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a shader snap inside of Blender. Let's start with the basics. Here is my cell shader for my character. To create this, you'll need a diffuse BSDF and a shader to RGB node and a color ramp. Then go to your color ramp click on the drop down and select constant. The right hand slider is the color of the object and the left hand is the color of the shadow. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the shader snap. Right here, I have a Roxy model. And as you can see, the shader looks really terrible. Okay, so it's an easy fix. First things first, you need these two squares right here. And be sure to turn on the normal faces. All right, so to create these little planes that are right here, so first you need to create a plane, of course, and then rotate it 90 degrees to make it stand upright. And then you wanna rotate it on the Z axis around 45 degrees, like as shown here. Then you, you want to scale it down so it doesn't get in your way. All right, now you're done with the first one. So let's make the second one. First, let's control D to duplicate it and move it to the side. And then you want to just rotate it like another 30 degrees. Before we start on the shader snap, rotate your light source to something like this. Alright, now we're done with that, we can start editing the normals to create the shader snap. As you can see here, my quick favorites is copy vectors and paste vectors. To find this, go to mesh, normals, and then copy vector, press right click, and then put it to your quick favorites. Do the same thing for paste vectors too. Now, what these do, from my understanding, is that they copy the shadow from the other to paste it to a new one. So as seen here, the first one is for the cheeks. And I'll just select a few faces on my character and then paste shadow. Now, you may not see a difference right now, but once you start rotating your light source like this, you'll see that the shadows start snapping. Now that you have that working, you'll just want to paste this vector or shadow throughout the face, like what I'm doing here. I'm just going to speed it up because it's going to take a bit. Now that we're done with that, when you move your light source, you can see that the shadow snaps now. Let's move on to the nose now. So we're going to use the second plane that we made, copy the vectors, and paste it. Alright, so this does not work, which is fine. So now what you would do is trial and error. So copy another of these plane and then rotate it around 30 degrees again and then copy the vectors and then paste them back onto the nose all right this time around it looks like it worked and that'll be all for this tutorial thank you for watching and subscribe if you want to see more